Okay, so it's time to get cracking. The first step we need to do in order to become Java developers is we need to download and install the relevant tools. First tool we need to install is what's called the Java Development Kit, abbreviated to JDK. So we're going to go ahead and install uh, that for the Windows platform. Now if you're running a Mac uh, using uh, OS X or you're running a Linux machine, do refer to the separate videos that I've got in this course because I'm going to show you how to do that on your particular platform because there are a few variances. But if you're a Windows user and you're ready to get cracking on installing the Java Development Kit, let's get into it. Step one is to do a search in Google for Java JDK download, as you can see on the screen and select the first option that comes up, which in this case is oracle.com. I'm going to click on that. And once I get to that screen, I'm going to go over here to where it says JDK download and click on that. That's going to bring up the page that says Java SE, which stands for Standard Edition Development Kit 8 Downloads. Now your version number may be a little bit different to mine. At the moment, uh, you can see on the screen it says Java SE Development Kit 8U45, which is a bit cryptic. But essentially that's saying it's release 45 of version 8 of Java. So if you've got a higher number than that, that's okay. You can go ahead and install that and you'll still be able to follow along and use that with the course. Next, have a look down here and you'll see there's two options. There's Windows x86 and also Windows x64. And that means the 32-bit, the x86 file, the one that's called Windows x86 is for the 32-bit version of Windows and the x64 version is for the 64-bit edition of Windows. And you'll need to know which version of the operating system you're running on your machine and to download the right version because the other one more than likely won't work. To go ahead and find that, we need to go into Control Panel. So I'm going to load up Control Panel and I'll make it, a bit of, uh, make it so it fits on the screen properly here. Next thing we need to do is just do a search for System. S-Y-S-T-E-M as you can see. And this will work with Windows 7 as well, by the way. I click on System. And what that does is that gives you a bit of an overview of your computer. It gives you the amount of RAM and the processor, etc. But the bit we're interested in here is the system type. So in this case, you can see it says 64-bit operating system, x64 based processor. So this first bit here is the important bit where it says 64-bit operating system. So in my case, I've got the 64-bit operating system. That means I need to download the 64-bit edition of the Java Development Kit. So choose whichever one is appropriate for your computer. In my case, because I've got the 64-bit edition, I'm going to click on the x64. And again, if you were running the 32-bit edition of Windows, you would choose the above one, the one that says x86. But before we can actually do a download, we need to click on Accept License Agreement. So I'm going to do that now. Once we do that, we're free to then click on the relevant link, which in my case is the 64-bit edition. And you can see now in the bottom left-hand corner, that's going to go ahead and start downloading. So I'm just going to pause the video and come back when it's just about finished. And actually that's racing ahead, so it's just about done. So wait till it's finished. And you can see now it's finished and I can just click on this and I can click on open. But if for some reason you can't do that, maybe you've used another browser, just go to wherever the file has been downloaded and open it. So I'm going to click on open. It's going to pop up and say, are you sure you want to run? So click on yes. And next it's going to go through an installation wizard and install the Java development kit on our computer. So click on next. You can leave all these as the default settings. I don't normally change those. Just click on Next. So that's now copying the Java Development Kit. And once this step is finished, it will then, it, uh, will then ask to install the Java Runtime Edition. So there's sort of two components to the Development Kit. There's the Development Kit Tools, which we need to develop Java apps. And then there's the Runtime Edition, which is the one that enables programs written in Java to run on this computer as well. And if you just move this up on the screen there, you can so you can see here it's got program files, Java, JRE. The JRE is the Java Runtime Edition. Don't need to know too much about this other than the fact that it's just installing two separate versions of Java, if you will, on your computer. So I'm going to click on Next. Let that go through and complete. And we're done. You can see now they've got a message on the screen. The Java SE Development Kit 8 has now been successfully installed. I can click on Close. So we've done installing the JDK. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and install the IDE, which is the integrated development environment that you'll need to be able to develop Java apps. So you'll find out more about what that is and how to install it in the next video.